there's always a logical reason behind choosing particular spots and not others. In Dubai Mall, they held a premiere of an international movie called Operation Fortune. And uh, je ne parle pas français, but, but I'll try to speak that correctly in French. So it's uh, Reuse de Guerre. So it's Operation Fortune, Reuse de Guerre. This is the name of the movie. The director is Guy Ritchie, starring Jason Statham, Hugh Grant, and others. And they were physically in Dubai Mall for their premiere. And look at our key messages all across. No one from the audience has captured a single photo of their favorite star without having on passive. That's the, the viral marketing. That's a viral effect. Genius, yes. genius, genius, <laughs> all the way. You cannot. Yeah, by you the can, way, guys, you, remember when I told you, and I think Jeffrey Morlock would remember this. You cannot avoid us. <laughs> I told Absolutely. you, you cannot. We're going to have to be a punch in your face no matter where you go, but a good one. Yeah, I think the only way they, they can escape us is in their dreams. Remember when I told you Google uh, Dubai Mall, real cinemas there, they're very famous. They do have international premieres for very well-known movies every month. You can Google that. And you can, I think last month... Uh, there was a very famous actor there also in one of the premieres. Can't remember the name. If Nazel is around, can't remember. But he was also uh, a very, very well-known figure. And it was very, very crowded. By the way, uh, Dubai Mall was really full that day for that premiere. So that is an indirect marketing opportunity. This is why the marketing uh, team has already chosen these kind of uh, digital screens, because we know the importance of this area in Dubai Mall. And Dubai Mall as a destination is one of the most classiest, most sophisticated malls with the most prestigious brands ever. Okay, there's something now on planet Earth, a new land mark is landed in UAE called on passive so you will see it on the main roads on the highways next stop next exit first look okay, you're gonna see it in arabic and english on passive where are you going to on passive where you want to stop how much you're, you pay your tickets thousands of people up to seven hundred thousand a day they will buy a ticket to use that they'll have a daily pass they will see it and they will be exposed to that brand and name. In the screen, in those high-tech uh, trains, it is displayed on Passive Next, all of that in that uh, you will be seen. And the audio, you know, the, uh, the machinery or the robotic audio that would be said on Passive or Next or Now Stopped and, you know, uh, on Passive, all of that is going to be repeated. In audio, all the pillars, around the streets, under the bridges, and the biggest dome structure from the outside, you see that wrapped around the uh, the future of internet, uh, that slogan by Dr. Suha as well, you will see it there in English and Arabic. But of course, we can change the display. We own it. So this will be running around the clock. Now you can see that on Google, Siri on passive, where you wanna go, all right? Uh, you know, uh, I don't know, Kennedy Street or on Passive Station. We are a landmark on this planet. Not one day, not this week, for the next 10 years. Of course, we can redo that. So that's by the government, by Dubai government. It's approved, it's done, it's signed, it's paid for, it's all of that. It will generate a lot of publicity and traffic to on Passive. It's... It's a fact where you go into on passive. All right. The tickets, all of that will see on passive. You see how many brochures and signs and instructions? Of course, that station will list uh, brief descriptions about on passive technologies or about our product. It's a marketing machine around the clock, nonstop. 
in a very genius way. So this will be 180 nationalities will be engraved in their brain subconsciously so that, okay, the, on passive, it's, it's a fact. It's in stone. It's a reality, not just an idea, not just another company. So among all the IT companies in Dubai and other companies, we're the company, we're the one company that has the internet city exit in Dubai called on passive. So it's no longer called Dubai internet city, complicated. It's called on passive. That sums it all. We are on passive. We are the internet city stop station. One more thing. So that means, okay, what will happen with the uh, metro is even larger because there are going to be news yeah. like people streaming from there for uh, any breaking news from Dubai. M press uh, reporters and you used to be one. Now you're a bigger sure. one. And uh, journalists will be live streaming from there. Vloggers, all of that. This is even bigger because she just said 900 screens plus that big wrap, which is interconnecting Said the main seven emirates that make up the whole country, which is 180 nationalities travel to every day. It's basically the hub of the whole planet. You cannot avoid on passive, even if you want to. The reason why we're, we're sharing these, by the way, this is pretty much a very corporate details that we're sharing with you guys so that you understand that there's always a logical reason behind choosing particular spots and not others so mm -hmm. we, we we can afford it we can do lots of things but we're choosing the the only and the the most important any let me say more of the most unique opportunities that really captures the eye that really leaves that kind of footprint there so it's not and we're giving you that logic and why lots of research has been done before that before we actually pay the money and or, or sign that contract for this opportunity or others to come. The thing is, there's always a reason because we have a vision that is very clear. We do lots of research. What's the importance of this area? What's the exposure of this area? So there's always logic before spending any penny. Why here? Why now? For how long? What's the exposure? And then we start to design things. So it's not just like we've got money. We can be everywhere like every week because we can be everywhere. But there's always logic and strategy and the vision behind what we're doing this and for how long we're doing it. And what are the messages that we're planning? I know it for you, it's amazing. And wow, for us, it's it's going, it's going to be very, very hectic because we need to keep those 900 digital screens busy with messages. Because again, the name main, is pardon? creativity, is brilliant or brilliantly articulated a long-term strategy. We're not talking about a quick show. We're not talking about an instant ad that it vanishes and you, you forget that. We're talking about, you know, World Cup. We're talking about the biggest, the largest mall on the planet, the tallest building on the planet, the highest office on earth. We're talking about the biggest structure on the main roads, you know, uh, uh, transportation uh, system. We're talking about the, the, the most robotic and innovative uh, transportation system, smooth and all of that, and in a digital format and uh, posters, you name it. It's a stamp. So as she just uh, demonstrated the real cinemas as well, that is already happening. We saw that back then, last year, 2022, and now it's already happening. It's been happening. So it's not just what you get in a day, it's what you get every day for a long time. So this is a, a long-term strategy. One of the main success factors that we believe in in on passive is pretty much um to serve and i think we clearly started the process of serving others serving humanity we're trying to educate people the messages that are going to be displayed in the metro station are pretty much all about products that serves humanity so this is where i go emotional it, it is happening it is happening true 
is if people are doubting how far we can go, then we will go so, so far that we cannot hear them anymore.